Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace and joy be with you. In a short while, we will be listening to the reflection from Father David Lemebo of the Missionaries of God's Love. Let's be open to the Holy Spirit and prepare our hearts so the Word of God will dwell richly in our lives today. My word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and a light unto my path Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. We cannot force love. Because it begins from our heart. God never forces us to love Him. He gives us freedom. Then why does He make love a law? Even more, He made it as the most important law. Will we be punished if we don't love Him with all our heart, soul, and mind? This is the mystery of the law of love. If we see it merely from the viewpoint of legality, or merely jurisdictional, then we easily dislike law. Who likes to go to the court? Who enjoys being punished for every small mistake? Who likes to be ruled over, especially about love? Love is God's commandment and law because God is love. In every house, city or town, kingdom and nation, there is law as its foundation. The law of love becomes the most basic principle or blueprint, just like a constitution or Magna Carta in the kingdom of God. Have you ever felt when you truly love, you discover who you really are? We are created in love, by love, and for love. Love gives us the fruits of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of love like happiness, peace, goodness, generosity, holiness, faith, and hope. Living without love is already a punishment because without love, life will slowly die, just like a tree without water. Who can keep living in complete chaos, evil, war, sadness, and hopelessness? We cannot live without love. God does not punish us. In fact, we bring ourselves the punishment that makes our souls die without love. Love begins with our own selves, then loving our neighbors whom we can see, and finally loving God whom we cannot see. It's impossible to love God if we do not love our neighbor. It's also impossible to love our neighbor if we do not love ourselves. Can we measure how deep love is? Surely not, because God is the measure of love. Jesus said that there is no greater love than someone who sacrifices his or her life for his or her friends. Jesus sees us as his friends. When we fail to love, our souls dry out and die. Jesus gives his love by dying on the cross to redeem our failures to love. His love fills the emptiness in our heart. We are revived with His immeasurable power of love. This is the greatest love of all. No love is greater than Christ's love for us all.